Hey, good day again, gentle folks. Good day. It has been such a long time since I haven't uploaded a video. So this time I decide that I'm definitely going to find some time to do a video since six is, is coming up. So we'll be looking at a particular question that can possibly come in paper one or in paper two. That is the first section from question one to ten. So it normally falls between question one to, to five. You understand this question? All right. So simplifying algebraic expression, expanding the bracket. So bracket, what is inside the bracket? X plus two. Two term is inside the bracket. And X is on the outside, which means that X is multiplying the bracket. Once you see x on the outside or a number on the outside it is saying that you must use that number to multiply all that is on the inside so this is definitely for cxc students since cxc is coming up so this is how you go about solving it all right solution shortening for solution so x you use this is called the bird beat method basically multiply that first by x and then you multiply that by x. So x times x is what? x square indices. Mm? Yeah. And x times 2 is 2x. So that is basically the answer. x times x is x square. x plus 2 is 2x. So this is for 6 student. All right, now. So remember, we're supposed to use what is on the outside to multiply all that is on the inside of the bracket. So let's write our solution again. So 4 times x and also 4 times 2. 4 times x is what? 4x plus 4 times 2 is 8. And that will be a final answer. That will be a final answer. All right, then. We're going to kind of step up the game a little bit. Let it be a little bit harder, okay? A little bit harder. So notice this time, it's not one term on the outside multiplying all that is inside the bracket. But it's basically two bracket multiplying two bracket. So this, what I'm going to teach you, is called the bird beak method. It is called the bird beak beak or you spell beak b e i guess e beak method all right bird beak method b e e k r b e a k something like that all right you can you can check out the the spelling of of the beak okay all right, now, I will go about solving this now. Solution, solution. Let us show you now how simple this is. All right. Remember when we were doing this, right? There was one term on the outside, and we use it to multiply. What is on the inside don't is the same thing. What you're going to do this time, look on the simple way. First, cover this. What are you seeing on the outside only? You are seeing three, right? So you use the three to multiply all that is on the inside. Let us multiply now. So 3 times x is 3x plus 3 times 5 is 15. So now that we're finished with the 3, we're going to cover the 3 now and we're going to use the x. We're going to use the x. See? And we're going to use the x to multiply all that is on the inside of the same bracket okay so look now notice x alone so x times x is x square and x times 5 is 5x that's 5x all right so how do we look now what we can do now is that we can tidy it up we can now put the x square term at the front and group like terms so that is 3x plus 5x plus the constant 15 
simplify now x square plus 3x plus 5x is how much x? 8x plus 15. So that's the answer. So that's the answer. When you get it like this, just cover one first. Just cover that first and then you use a 3 to multiply. And then you cover the 3 and then you use the x to multiply all that is on the inside. After, when you get used to it, you won't, you won't you cover it with your finger anymore. But you'll cover it with your mind. If you understand. So you're looking at this and you're not paying attention to the x at the moment. You're focusing on the 3 first and then... You are focusing on the x, you understand? But start out with putting a finger there and then x times x, x square, x times 5, 5x. Then you go, you know, 3 times x, 3x, three, 3 times 5, 15. So therefore, that's the answer. No, that's one method, that's the bird beak method. I'm going to show you another method, right? So this other method, similar, it was similar to what we have done. For example, look at this. Look at this first one. Solution. What you do, write the first one, write the first bracket down here, which is x plus 3. Right? Write it, write it two times. Write the first bracket two times. Write it right here, so to x plus 3. How much times is it supposed to write it two times? And this is what you're going to do now. You're going to write this right here for me. This implies. And in the second bracket, what is in the second bracket? Write x right here and 5 right here. You can choose to put them anywhere. And then you take your time now. x times x is x square. x times 3 is 3x. Three 5 times x is what? 5x. 5 times 3 is 15. You see how easy? Nicely done. Am I right? Nicely done. So first, you write your first bracket two times. How much time see it there? Two times. And then for the second bracket, whatever is inside, you put it at one bracket and you put it at the other bracket. And then now, you multiply and put it down here. And then you simplify. You right. therefore, this is the answer. Answer, this is the answer. Therefore, I simplify x squared and 3x plus 5x is what? 8x plus 15. So it's two methods I've shown you thus far. Two method. This was the bird beak method. What you do, you close. You cover one of them and then you multiply. You cover the next one after you're through with the first one. You multiply. Or you can use this, this method. This method right here. So, the reason why I'm showing you a variety of methods is that you choose which one you're more comfortable with. And the last method I'm going to show you now, the last method, I call it the multiplication method. Because we used to multiplying. So, I call it the multi, multiplication method. That's what I call it. I don't know what other people call it. Alright, so notice solution. Always write a solution. Show the examiners where you're going to start. First, what is in the first bracket? X plus 3. What is in the second bracket? X plus 5. Remember what we're doing, you know, we're multiplying. What we used to know. 5, so we'll write this right here like that. Always write your imply, okay? 5 times 3 is what? 15 don't and 5 times x is 5x all right we finish with this now move on to this now x times 3 is what 3x and x times x is x square and that's it i will tidy up now remember now tidy up you can put the x square and the 5x plus 3x is what 8x plus 15 so you just have to choose which one of the method you're more comfortable with whether the multiplication method or i don't know what to call this method maybe the two bracket method <laughs> uh, let, me, uh, let me put it maybe the two two bracket method i guess two bracket method right 
two bracket method or the bird beak method. You understand? So choose which one you're more comfortable with. You can always a uh, so let me let me give you one to do on your own. And let us just choose a random method question. Alright, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna give you this to do on your own, right? And then I'm gonna use a three method to do it. So this is what now? Let me see. X plus five times X plus four. All right, pause the video now. Pause the video and do this on your own. Choose any one of the method that you're more comfortable with. And I'm going to use all three methods to do it. Pause the video now. When you're, when you're through, then you come back and, and work it together. So we're going to use all three methods. All right, let us use all three methods now. Let me kind of rewrite it right here because we we'll use all three methods x plus 5, x plus 4. We're going to use the multiplication method first. The multiplication method first, right? All right, or do we use the multiplication method? Can I zoom it up a bit for you? So what we do is that we write x plus 5, x plus 4, I will multiply. I will write to imply. Always remember imply, therefore, which is the answer part. So, you know, I will say now, 4 times 5 is so much? 20. And 4 times x is 4x. And then we move on now. x times 5 is 5x. And x times x is x squared. So simplifying up, we simplify the answer. x squared, 4x plus 5x is 9x plus 20. That's the answer. So that is for the multiplication method. For the bird beak now. For the bird beak method. For the bird beak method, I'm going to put it in a different color. So that's x plus 5, x plus 4, solution. Uh, remember what you do now. Remember what you do. You write your imply, therefore your answer. You cover one for the bird meek first. And you say 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 4 is 20. And then you cover the other, other one, right? And you say x times x is what? x squared. And x times 4 is 4x. And then you simplify now. Always put the x with the higher degree, which is x squared. And 4x and 5x is how much? 9x plus 20. So this is for CXE students. And for the last method, I call it, as I said, I just give it a name. The, the two, two bracket method i just give it a name i don't know if it have an official name but i just give it a name all right so what you want to do is that you i give you the option to choose anyone that you're more comfortable with i'm not here to tell you to choose that one anyone you're more comfortable with a solution remember now the first bracket you write it down two times which is x plus five and x plus five and whatever is inside there the second bracket you put it one four and then you write your imply and you're there for this is the answer so start now x times x is what x square x times five is five x four times x is four x four times five is twenty and you simplify you put your x square and five x plus four x equal what 8x, 9x, sorry, plus 20. 
So that's it for the video. That's it for the video. Just choose which one of the method you are more comfortable with. Whether the two bracket method. Children, please pardon the children. Them, you know, two bracket method. Or the bird beak method. That is where you just cover one, multiply, cover the other. Or you can use the multiplication method. You can... You can always go over back the videos. You can always go over back the videos, pause the videos. This is the bird beak method. Let me kind of let you see it. The bird beak method. And this is, no, this is not the bird beak. This is a two bracket method. Sorry about that, okay? Two bracket method. Two, that's the two bracket method here. This is the bird beak method. That is, your, your, you just cover one, you know, and this is the multiplication method. Just choose any one that you're more comfortable with. So whenever you get any question like this, that's how you solve it. So look out for the next video below. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and share the video with others. This is Mr. Williams once more. Please enjoy the rest of your day, okay?